you know, always the best start to an interview and I can congratulate you on uh, three points. Tell us how we got there. A very hard game as always in this league. Um, I think the conditions were probably worse than they may have seen from the, the stand uh, and, and from the sideline where I was standing. It's totally different when you're on the pitch and the players adapted exceptionally well. I would have been quite happy to get in level at half time, to be honest, because of the, the, the wind that we were facing. But to get the goal, you know, seven or eight minutes before half time, gave us a platform for the second half. Um, and then the second half, yeah, I thought we managed the game really well. We, um, Jamma, didn't have too many things to do uh, in, in the second half. We had one. Um, decent save towards the end. He had a couple of really good saves in the first half, though. So, it's a, a typical championship game. You know, our broth will probably come away saying maybe a point would have would have been fair enough. We'll always, you know, argue that we deserve to win it. But a very tight game between two decent sides as well. Uh, we're delighted with a few points. We continue our love affair. We're hitting the uh, hitting the woodworker metalwork as it is now, and, and a couple of one and ones where the boys. Uh, didn't they quite hit the back of the net? Was it a moment in the game where you're thinking it's not one of those nights, is it? I think when Aidan's hits, uh, hits a sort of the junction of the crossbar and post, you, you're standing going, not again, um, because it was a, a great effort and uh, maybe deceiving people, but I seen it dip at the last minute and I thought it was in as well. We've hit the woodwork a few times now this season, so um, we need to just brush up a little bit still. Um, but great hits, um, we scored a really good goal again, a hard point the players, but making forward runs, and Sam's been incredible in there in, in the last few weeks. So the way he picks up little holes and the way he, he, he sort of strides out and uh, eats up the ground and gets his goal. It's his third goal this season. We, we touched on Sam a couple of weeks ago about how he only scored one last season. Uh, that's not to say that he wasn't capable. It's, you know, maybe a change of system, a, a different area of the park, and he causes problems. He's, he's such an intelligent footballer as well. That you know, we're very fortunate to have Sam, and he's came up with the goods again. At the other end of the park, uh, Jamie seemed to get a pull up just before half time, but he's worked through the, the pain and everything else to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think he, he maybe hit the ground before he, he hit the ball and taken a little knock. But <clears throat> again, Jamie for me, is the best goal in the league. I wasn't, um, you know. Trying to paint a, a picture that wasn't true in my head. It was, it was true. I, I still feel he's the best goal in the league. His calmness at the back is excellent. Um, you know, we, we touched on it on I think Monday morning. I was saying to the staff that we haven't really used Jimmy this season because uh, we, we've let. You know, he's not been at fault for any of the goals in my opinion. He's just um, not been able to save them. Um, but tonight we needed them in the first half because our both put in a few really good balls, a few really good corners. But what I like about him, he's quiet. But as I said, you don't, you don't not do your job if you're in front of him because he'll let you know about it. Thinking back to, to Saturday in terms of what happened kind of very late on in the game with a goal up, we've had a few chances at the other end. Um, I thought your team's attitude, uh, kind of taking down the clock, was also uh, really impressive. Yeah, yeah, we, we got into really good shape. Uh, we made it very difficult for our broth to, to get through us. We're nice and compact, and you know we touched on it after the game there. When you when you're like that, you've, it's very hard for teams to get in behind you because that's where the, dan the danger is. Of course, Saturday's. Um, end to the game is very disappointing it does play in the back of your mind I'm sure it did in the supporters as well tonight but also it gives you more determination sometimes and the players more than anyone deserve a huge amount of credit for the way that they, that they handled it the way that they may be a feeling going that, that last 10 minutes and the way they defended their goal We're going to catch up tomorrow for the, the pre-match so I'll let you get away and do the other kind of press duties but again well done the three points Thank you